So you get your holes from your drill and blast engineer, you have a look at them, save them as a DXF. So save that as a DXF. Easy. That's all you got to do. Now you take your DXF file, copy that, paste it into your projects folder, and now you'll be able to navigate to that in your active map in Trimble Access. So we'll browse. There it is there. And there you have it. Okay, now it's going to be real easy. We're going to take that layer that we did. We want to make sure that it's an active layer. So now that it's an active layer, all we've got to do to turn it, make it an active layer is click it until the box comes around it. And now we can make it selectable. So what I'll do, I'll roll into a view where I want to set out just these first section here. So I'll just highlight those holes here, bang, arrows appear easily to tell what you're going to be staking out. So we'll stake out, blast holes, here comes the list, so it's identified collars and toes, and there's your hole links, so you can tell if anything's a bit silly. Alright, so uh, gives you the option to store these points as it comes in, we'll just start with the, whatever sequence it is there, you can actually renumber it, we'll start at one, so we'll see what holes we stake out. And code, whatever you, all your blast holes you've staked out with codes. I'm gonna have a go for 10 seconds, and it's gonna wait two seconds in between. It's gonna pretty much start one right away at one second. Next, and it's going to the target now. First color, observation store point. On to the next one. You can pause any time and have a look. Or you can keep running. Observation stored. So I'll have a look. What are the Observation stored. Nice and close. Observation stored. Observation store point. This is the real power. All you have to do is highlight as observation store point. And have them loaded as a DXF, and that's all you need to do. Observation store point. Then once you need to move again. Observation Mark stored. Point. The fact that it's stored down below, you know which ones are the holes have been done. You can just highlight again. Observation Mark stored. Point. There you go. Oh, 10 holes. Observation Mark stored. Point. Let you know if anything was skipped. And that's how easy it is. Alternatively, what you can do is you can load up your colors and, and call them separate names. So if I rename my color 23.1 and 23.2. Point 0.1 is the color, point 0.2 is the toe. The auto stakeout will be able to distinguish between color and toe, and, or you can swap them around. And we'll load them up in, as points and we'll show you how to do it that way. Okay, so you go to your job, you wanna import your points that you've got there. So here's my set out string, and except import 28 points, in. done. Open my job, there they are there. If I wanna turn the DXF on, I can turn the DXF on to see them as well. There they are. See how it all matches up. All right, so with holes in auto stake out, set up my blast holes, 
and I just nominate point one as my color, point two is the toe, suffix, you could do it either by prefix or suffix, suffix is easier for me. Go to next, so it identifies point one as a color hole, point two, similar hole lengths as before. All right, off we go. I can nominate my storage point again. I'll just call it uh, something random, five, five lines of code, and same as before. Next. Off it goes. Observation sort. So it's just Mark doing the same thing, except you can see your holes numbered. Observation sort. You can see that the number stores over top of it. It's a bit messier than doing it the uh, via DXF way, but it still does the same Observation stored. Point. There we go. Got to the point five now by the looks of it. Observation Mark stored. Point. Oh, yep, twenty six. Observation Mark stored. Point. And it cycles through just like it would the others. Hole 27. Observation Mark stored. Point. And so there's two ways of doing it. DXF, Observation stored. highlighting it, or you load it by collars and toes. Just a way, other ways of getting the job done. Observation Mark stored. Point. And if you'd like to know more about the blast holes and auto stakeout. Contact us at sales at hlgs.com.au and we can help sort you out. Thanks.